This is the Daily Prayer Radio for Friday, September 9, 2022, for Trinity United Methodist Church in Prince Frederick, Maryland. I'm Jack Woodford, and I'm recording this message while I'm on vacation with family in Nags Head, North Carolina. As a matter of fact, you might be able to see the ocean uh, uh, in the background uh, by the between a couple of houses. One of them is the uh, yellow house back there. Uh, the scripture that God has asked me to share with you all today is from Acts chapter 10, verses 1 to 4. And it reads, At Caesarea there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion of what was known as the Italian cohort a devout man who feared God with all his household, gave alms generously to the poor, and prayed continually to God. About the ninth hour of the day, he saw clearly in a vision an angel of God come in and say to him, Cornelius, and he stared at him in terror and said, What is it, Lord? And he said to him, Your prayers and your alms have been ascended as a memorial before God. Memorial before God. I recently heard a story by a man that shared an experience from when he was eight years old. He was at the grocery store with his grandmother, and while they were at the checkout counter, there was a man complaining as the as the boy's grandmother was paying for the groceries with food stamps. And the man was saying things, such things as, uh, I can't afford to buy those kinds of foods for my family. He was also saying things like, it is taxpayers like him that's paying for that good food for your family. The man asked the grandmother how she was going to pay back those that had paid for her food stamps. And the grandmother calmly turned to the boy, turned, turned to the man, and thanked him for what he has done for her family. She also told the man that she can never pay back what he and others have done for her family. And she pointed to her grandson and told the man that he can. There's another story that I read recently of a man that said something special happened at his father's memorial service. At one point during his memorial service, each of the grandchildren came forward and spoke about one of their most treasured moments of their grandfather. It was very emotional. There was not a dry eye in the house. I remember thinking that it was too bad for, he remembered thinking that it was too bad that his father was not present to hear how much he meant to all of them. He wondered, how Cornelius, I wonder how Cornelius felt when an angel of the Lord told him, your prayers and gifts to the Lord have come up, come as a memorial offering before God. In other words, God's most treasured thoughts of Cornelius were his prayers and gifts to the poor. That is also, that is so encouraging to me to know that God actually hears and remembers our prayers and acknowledges our good deeds. Although we can sometimes think our role is small and insignificant in the grand scheme of things, this verse, your prayers and gifts to the poor have come to us as a memorial offering before God. Let's me know that God is always there watching and that what I do matters to him. If your memorial service was today, what would those in attendance, the ones who knew you best, say about you if they were asked to list the top five things you were passionate about? What would they be? How many would be about giving? How many would be related to your faith versus your hobbies or your profession? 
Cornelius' prayers and gifts to the poor came up as a memorial offering before God. What is your offering? What would you like to be? What steps can you take today to change what you are passionate about to come to, 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 to be more closely fit with what matters to him? Let us pray. Father, we ask you to take care of those people and situations that are beyond our ability to fix our change, fix our change. Relieve our minds of the worry of it all because like thorns and briars that encroach upon us, upon a lovely garden and finally choke it out. These things have a way of choking choking us so that we are unable to hear what you have to say. Father, we trust you to answer our prayer. And in the name of Jesus, our Savior, we pray. Amen. Always remember that wherever you are, that Jesus walks with you. And as you are walking, he will help you to recognize those that may be in need. What are you going to do to help them?